My name is Claire Fletcher. Um, I'm a molecular biologist working at Imperial College London. Um, I'm a junior research fellow and my area of research concerns tiny little bits of genetic material which we call microRNAs and how we can use those to predict which men are going to respond well to a particular treatment in prostate cancer. The interdisciplinary approach is really critical because that brings together the different skill sets that these different scientists have and applying those different mindsets and those different ways of looking at a problem really helps us to find new solutions to um, improving the lives of men with prostate cancer. Well, this year I was really fortunate to be given a Prostate Cancer Foundation Young Investigator Award um, and that allows me to start to develop my independence in terms of research, um, to employ more staff to work on the ideas that I have in prostate cancer research and also the flexibility to drive my research in the, in the direction that I really want it to go. The Prostate Cancer Foundation is really unique in its approach to funding in that it likes to fund really exciting novel ideas and its particular focus is on young investigators and recruiting um, scientists from other fields so not just prostate cancer scientists but those across other cancers and even other diseases entirely and bringing those skills into the field of prostate cancer research. My interest in science really began when I was about 13, 14 years old and I started to discover a bit more about biology and I just became really fascinated with disease processes generally and how this, the body, the human body is this amazing thing that, that does so many things in every millisecond and how those things go wrong so rarely but when they do it can be really catastrophic and that's what leads to disease and then when I um, went to university to study biology, I realized that cancer is so clever and so sophisticated in the mechanisms that it uses. So even if we treat it successfully, it finds ways of evading those treatments to come back time and again. So that's where the real challenge lies in prostate cancer research. I don't have a member of my family who's experienced prostate cancer, but I think most people that you'd speak to have a relative or a friend who's experienced cancer generally. And I have seen um, my grandmother, for example, who suffered from asbestos-related mesothelioma um, go through um, a pretty terrible um, time and a lot of pain and anything that we can do um, to ease the suffering of patients um, experiencing any kind of cancer is, has got to be a fantastic thing. I think it's a it's a really fantastic initiative really and um, not only does that bring money into cancer research, but it also encourages people to think about the issues of prostate cancer research and also think about their own experiences of cancer and share them with other people. So encourage other people to donate. And what that does it is it opens up conversations between people as well. So not only does that increase funding into cancer research, but it raises awareness, which I think is something really important as well.